Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to delete items using PowerShell. Let's take a look at the directory or folder that contains the items that we will delete. We can see that we have various file types from Excel files to PDF files. What I'm going to do first is I am going to get the path or location of our folder. Within PowerShell, I am going to change to our directory by using set location. And we are in our directory. Going back to our folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this single item here, text file one. If we go back, the way that we can delete an item is using the remove item function. What I could do is I could start typing out the item and then I can search for it using tab. And we can see that we have remove item text file one. Let's run this. And let's go back and take a look at the directory. We can see that we successfully deleted the file. What I want to do next is I want to delete all file types of a certain extension. In this case, I want to delete all the text files here. Going back, what we can do is we can say remove item again. This time we are going to put an asterisk and then we are going to say include. And I am going to call the asterisk again, and I am going to say .txt, which symbolizes text files. Let's run this and take a look at our directory again. And we can see that we were able to delete all the text files here. What I want to do next is I want to delete the Excel files, but I want to keep the Excel files that have one in them. What we can do is we say remove item again. We are going to say asterisk and then include we're going to call the asterisk and then we're going to say dot xlsx. This is the extension for x for Excel files. And then we're going to say exclude. Then between asterisks, what I'm going to do is I am going to put one. So any file name that's an Excel file in our directory that has a one will not be deleted. Let's run this and take a look. And we can see that we kept our Excel file one here. Next, what I want to do is I want to delete a subdirectory within using PowerShell. And we can see that we have a single file in here. It's just a PowerPoint file. Going back to the script, I am going to say remove item. And I'm going to say subdirectory. And we'll receive this prompt. And if we want to delete it, we need to specify yes. So I'm going to put a Y here, and then I am going to run this. And we can see that we successfully deleted our file or subdirectory. Finally, what I want to do is I want to delete all of the remaining items in our example folder. The way that we do this is we say remove item asterisk. And now we've deleted all of the files within our example folder. Thanks again, everyone, for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, you can like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks again, everyone, and happy coding.